it's Emily, the Minimalish Mama. Here on my channel, we talk about pursuing minimalism with grace. I'm definitely feeling all the fall feels, so I want to get out my fall stuff and pack away my spring and summer clothes, do that whole switch over, and do some decluttering in the process. And I'm pretty sure that this time I have some stuff to get rid of. Last time I went through my closet, I was pretty pleasantly surprised by how small my pile was to donate. I mean, really my goal with minimalism isn't to be doing a huge declutter every season. I want to be at a place where I really love the things that I have. There were a handful of things from last time though that I was hanging on to just in case, and I think there's some of those that I may now be ready to let go of. This will also help me prep for my fall capsule wardrobe, which if you're interested in capsule wardrobes or you want to see what I'm going to put in my capsule wardrobe, leave me a comment down below and let me know that you want me to make a video about that too. That would be super helpful. Let's go take a look in my closet. So when we went on vacation this summer, I packed all the clothes and shoes that I was leaving behind in these totes and duffel bag for when we did our Airbnb. And after we got back from vacation, I realized I hadn't opened them for a couple weeks, <laughs> at least. So I decided I really needed to take a hard look at what was inside and see if I really needed everything in there. And surprise, surprise, I did not. Agents of the other Beyond gravel, beyond Over here, I have my dresses. These are the two summery ones, but I can definitely wear them into fall. Um, apparently, I really like blue, so sticking with that. Down here, I have my tanks and t-shirts. Honestly, I wear all of these and I'm pretty okay with keeping them. The only things I'm not 100% sure on are some of these tanks. But just because I didn't wear any of these this summer, but I usually wear them under sweaters for layering purposes. So we'll see how it goes this fall and then see if there's any of those that can go. I don't like packing away my summer clothes because out of sight, out of mind. So if I can just like have one section over to the side, I gotta refold that shirt. If I can have just one section over to the side that's summer clothes, that's ideal. And t-shirts, I feel like I wear, you can wear these like all seasons because you can layer them. I don't think I need to pack those away. So that's on that side. And then here I have my winter booties and my root collective booties. These I did not wear at all last fall because it just felt too tight. So I would just wear the root collective ones instead. So I'm gonna try these on, give them one more shot, and if I still don't like wearing them, then I can go to a new home. I have some sweaters hanging up already. This is a new sweater I bought. This is from Target. It's the Universal Thread line. I bought this after getting stuck in the rain in New York City, and I wear it all the time. And it is their ethical cotton brand, and it's super cute. I'll have to show you that on. And I still have my pink blazer, this pink trade crew shirt that I wore a lot last fall. This white button up that I did not wear last fall, so I gotta think about that. But I also added this new vintage button up with a Peter Pan lace collar. I'm really excited about my old faithful old navy. And then this is also new. It is so cute on. It's like a long blazer. I just want to show you how I styled that. And then these are some summer tops here. I did not wear this one at all this summer because I wore this one, but not this one. It just was a little too bright for me, I think. I don't know. I used to wear it all the time. I've had this for like six years and I wonder if I'm just getting a little tired of it. So it might need to go into quarantine for a little bit. I also only wore this once because this was uncomfortable. I might be ready to pass on that. And then I have my two skirts. This one I've got to really think about because it has wool in it and I'm learning that wool is just too scratchy for me. I love it, but it just might not work for me. 
So what I might do is put the summer tops in here and hang up some of these sweaters. On the shoe side, I've added two pairs of shoes. I'll show you what shoes I've eliminated to make room for these. And new to me slippers. So I'm saying goodbye to my old ones. And then I have my summer sandals, which I will put those in these, one of these. And then the other summer shoes too, like the flip flops. I still have these loafers. I really wanna make a point of wearing these more because I didn't last year. I really wanna get back to dressing up more a little bit. Easy, easy on our tiptoe. And I almost forgot, down here I have my heels. I want an only pair of high heels. These are Everlane. So these are my old slippers. They're pretty worn out. The rose gold toms I love, but they are also really worn out. And then the other two pairs of shoes I just haven't worn in forever, and I just don't think they fit my life anymore, unfortunately. Here's another drawer I need to go through. I have several pairs of jeans that are not in there right now, including the overalls I'm wearing right now, and a few other pairs of jeans. Then these are all workout clothes on this side, and it's getting a little too crowded. So, I remembered that I packed some of my winter stuff in the tote with my maternity clothes. So, we need to take a look at what's in here. When you're thinking about storing clothing, ask yourself if I had to pay $10 to store this item, would I do it? Because Honestly, if you wouldn't pay $10 to store something, it's probably if it's not even worth $10 to you, it's probably time to let it go. to three workout tanks and three pairs of shorts. And then now I'm down to four pairs of leggings. And then here I have three long sleeve running zip up thingies, shirts. <laughs> That's what those are called for winter running. And then I have one, two, three, four, five running t-shirts. This is from a race, this blue one. The half marathon I did, so I I want to hang on to it, but I think I am finally ready to let go of my turkey trot shirt. I shall see. My pile of maybe clothes is growing. <laughs> some of these are maybe and some of these are no's. These black shorts I love, but they're just a little tight and uncomfortable. So I don't know if I want to keep them or not. These black pants. I only pair black pants, but they're low cut. I mean, they're low rise, which is not just over low rise. And they're very stretchy, which just feels like I'm pulling them up all the time. You set my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. These two pairs of pajamas are, I think I'm finally gonna let go of. As much as I do love them, don't love the fit of these, and I don't love the color of these. So I think I'm ready to let go of those. These are all the summer clothes I'm getting rid of, and these are all the winter clothes and jeans. Not bad. You said my word on fire. I don't know. how it looks my life was great till you added colors like the moon is the snow we don't care about 
two pairs of shorts. We'll hang on to the black ones for now. See how we feel about them in the summer. Summer pajamas, summer workout stuff. This drawer looks so much better than before. And I'm really happy with the things that I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you here next week.